Good morning, my brothers. Welcome to your daily grip on God's word. Hey, thank you for several of you that said happy anniversary, 16 years, um, how the ministry has impacted you being in the word. And guys, remember, please know, this is still so true today. If we did the ministry and it was just for you, the one guy, it would be so worth it. All right, today, my G is found in Romans chapter 10. And I have two verses, nine and 10. My title is, how does one become saved? I love these two verses. It really simplifies that question. How does one become saved? Here we go, nine and 10. <clears throat> Let me read those for you out of my NIV Bible. Jesus, I'm sorry, that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. All right, so those two verses, nine and 10, here is my reveal. I can remember thinking back before I was truly saved, thinking that if I, I just did enough good things in my life, I have hopefully earned my salvation. Boy, was I wrong. Can any of you guys relate to that? I long to hear others say, Scott's a really good guy, thinking that was hopefully enough to get me a ticket in heaven. I am beyond grateful for these two verses, which reveals I can't save myself by doing enough good things or by working really hard and then throw up a Hail Mary just before dying, hopefully that I make it through the gates of heaven. I do believe with all my heart that Jesus is Lord and he nailed my sins to the cross. I believe that he rose from the dead and conquered death and now lives within me through his Holy Spirit. Whoa, the same spirit that rose Jesus from the grave now dwells within me. Come on, what could God really do in through each of us if we truly believe that? My prayer back to the Lord is, Jesus, I am beyond grateful that you paid the ultimate sacrifice when you nailed the sins of this world, including mine, to the cross. And then, Lord, you rose from the tomb. And for us who are saved, have the Spirit ready and rose up within us to do the work that you have planned and commissioned us to do, to go and make disciples. Lord, use in his grip to build your kingdom here on earth. Amen and amen. Guys, it's... um. Man, a lot of us, and I'm just going to say me, there's times I make being saved too complicated. Take them through maybe all these different verses, and right here, these two, two verses really cement it, and I'm thankful for that. But again, we have to live it out. So let me close this out with our time together. Jesus, uh, thank you, Lord, for these two verses in Romans, Lord, that we truly, truly believe in our hearts, Lord, and we confess with our mouth that you are Lord, you arose from the grave, and now, as we accept you as our Lord and Savior, you reside within us through your Holy Spirit. Wow. Thank you, Jesus, for that ultimate sacrifice, and thank you that shadow says amen in the background. It's in your name we pray. Amen and amen. I will see you tomorrow, guys.